The detected body is still at the cemetery. I need to get it before the new detachment of patrolman arrives. I have it, right? Blood must be analyzed, although the current conditions make any thorough analysis imp impossible. There's a high chance it contains a sample of harmful microorganism. Uh, do I click on it? Oopsie. Uh. Okay. Uh, you, Reuben. Right? It was Reuben who sent me on this quest in the first place, didn't he? Or do I have to do it myself? Um... I think it was Reuben. I was specifically searching for a body. I mean, I can at least try going to Reuben's place. It's on the way back to where I'm trying to go. Just gonna hope for the best. Oh, that health bar is not looking pretty. I could try a bandage, but one of my goals is to try to just chug everything as I'm going to sleep and hope it works out. So we'll see about if I can make it there. Uh, yeah, following the train tracks the way to go right now. Hello, train track. We meet again. Be really awkward if I, uh... Succumb to my exhaustion right here on the tracks. Just pass out on top of them. Not sure what's up with the weird spooky tower. Cow? I've never seen a cow, have I? This damn train track always sounds like there's a train coming up on me or something. It's hard to identify the sound. I think it might just be supposed to be, like, workers. There's warehouses around here, there's shops around here, and so on, so like... Also metal build metal buildings everywhere. It's probably supposed to be a vague soundscape of human activity. Ruben's shop is like right there. Oh my god, my health. I don't think we're gonna make it. I think I'm going to want to commit to using a healing item. Obey. Okay. Oh, I don't have... Alright. I do not currently contain... A medicine. A bandage. I might be in trouble here. Uh, shit. Can I buy medicine off you, asshole? What is this disease? Finally, the operation's been a success, I hope. It was, if such a dubious endeavor can be called an operation at all. The microscope is at your service, colleague. May you be the first to make the discovery. Much obliged. I'm about to die in your goddamn office, aren't I? None of these are health-related, even. Oh, there we go. That was an interesting death animation once again. Can I restore health by drinking that? I'll have to double check. I mean, I mean I'm not double check, but there's only one way to find out. Just start chugging one, right? Uh, gave me a bit of health, technically. It's supposed to make me go to sleep. Which is not great news for me right now, because I've got things to do. I don't think my health's even trending up right now. Shit. Not taking the city streets means I don't have anyone to give me... Not taking the streets means no one gave, was able to give me... What I need to survive. Oh boy. 
the telescope. There we go. Microscope, I mean. Uh, you. Yes. Drugs. <laughs> I mean, not drugs. Uh, you know. What do I do with this? Do I just look at it? Neat. It'll take them a long time to find me here. So, what did you see there? Everything's dead. The dead tissue would not allow the microbial culture to survive. We might have tried to force the bacteria to reproduce. The problem is, there is no bacteria left. The culture is perished. This is bad. Quite the opposite, colleague. This is outstanding. What we've just discovered allows us to suggest that the sand pest does not linger in dead bodies. As soon as it kills an infected person, it leaves. It needs warm blood, rich in oxygen, to survive. How do you think the bacterium kills, Bachelor? It causes a massive contamination of the blood. In so doing, it overloads the cardiac muscle. In all likelihood, the infected s suffer a stroke. That is something we didn't know before. So in order to acquire the potent living microbial culture, we will have to get our hands on a still beating heart? This is borderline absurd. We can start to research your vaccine, though. Don't you have that unique source of yours? I do. In any case, our work must no longer be delayed. Not after the new hope today is brought. What does this mean? Firstly, it suggests that something as simple as house walls might provide a certain level of protection. Secondly, that the killer's life cycle is very short. Therefore, there is a natural restriction on how fast the disease can spread. As soon as the infection kills whoever carries it, it dies. This means the disease, the disease can be fought? Yes, there is hope. Although the enemy is invisible and ubiquitous, it is far from invulnerable. We have found at least one weakness. The fact that it, it dies with the person that kills it. Sure. I'm about to die. There's there's some healing. That's probably wasteful, but I need I needed I just need to not die right now. I don't think I'm using these items correctly, basically. Alright. Did we beat it for today? Okay, today's quest is done. Okay, so now talk to Georgie, take drugs, go to sleep, ex ex escape my impending doom, basically. That one gave me more health. I think these things are supposed to help me a lot more when I actually sleep. And that's like the idea. But right now I just need to not die on my trip back. God damn it, these- ugh. These walls aren't on the map. There's so much clutter. Uh, I have two meters, four meters on the screen right now. Amazingly, none of them are hunger. I should have gone outside. What did I just, why did I just do that? Uh. Shit. Shit. Ah. Uh. I have a lot of town to get across. Oh, Jesus. The walls. I'm just trying to get across town. There's so many walls, and our character is so unacrobatic. A real person could take way better shortcuts. Also, I have no money. I need to find a drunk if I want a bandage. Uh, unfortunately, I can't even buy drugs because I am out of money. I'll have money when I get to Georgie. I don't think there was reasonable time for me to go to Georgie first. I did that the first time and it didn't really work out. A drunk. Fuck. A stabby man. Maybe he won't notice me. He noticed me. Hi. Would you like to trade before you die? Shit. Uh, please kill that guy. Nope, oh, there I go. How did I... How did I miss so many times? God damn. Alright. Shit, uh... This one? Now where am I? Last quick save. 
Oh no, the last quick save might have been before the morphine because I was worried about running out and, and uh Normally I'd quick save a lot more out of, out of concern, but I quick save less in this game because if I do, if I quick save as often as I'd like to, then uh, I have to worry about the quick saves being too recent because the game only keeps two quick saves total, which is kind of brutal. Well, at least I found the right gate this time, going the left side out of the space instead of whatever the hell that path was I took last time. Much cleaner. So I've already done, I've already redone the whole This is what the disease means part now We're going through my number one looting spot, so I might as well do it while we're going Even though I'm kind of in a hurry Cause that's what this game is A weird port, a weird sort of manic multitasking Video game Kudos on how fast that is. Normally it would take so long to do that. Like, stop long enough to gradually fill so many bottles individually. It's kind of hilarious that I'm just grabbing actual garbage and then running potable water into the garbage and we just like, pretend that that's a reasonable thing to do. Like, not only is it garbage, which is already questionable, it's plague garbage, because there's a plague in town. And so when we should be being extra clean, we're being extra not clean. Oh shit. Is he stabbing people? Come on, quickly. Jesus, that was close. Money and claw. He didn't kill people that had stuff on them though. Coming into town now. Alright, so no bandages this time, but that happened, at least. And the song I like is playing against, so there's that. Uh, we gotta get to Georgie, my poor health bar. Why does the murderer have to be here? Nope, he threw it. <laughs> that's why I saved. That ex that's exactly why I saved. Which may have not been the best plan anyway, because now that I've saved, my quick saves are all messed up. But I don't I don't know if I want to spam permanent saves. That'd be so many to navigate through later. I don't know. Don't necessarily have the best plans. Well, let's take the back rows and he won't find us. Fuck, how is my health so low? That fast? Is that just the cumulative effect of exhaustion and infection at this point? I'm sure it's not helping me that it. Oh. Holy crap, I can't make it. What, do I take more medicine? I feel like if I take even more medicine, uh... It would give me a little spike. I mean, in, in a way, I'm kind of like pre-dosing, aren't I? For my impending sleep. You're supposed to take the medicine before you sleep. And presumably, it has an impact... Presumably, this medicine that you take before you sleep... Affects your... Healing... It's supposed to last for hours. So I guess if you preemptively take it, it'll still be working. It'll still be working later when I sleep. Hopefully. Stop murdering people. Come on. I'm not gonna have time to save this person, am I? Uh, come on. I'm about to die, I'm about to die, I'm about to die. Motherfucker. Why is it so hard to live in this game? Ah, Georgie! 
No more pit stops. Yeah, my number one time to try to kill people is when they're chasing other people because he seems to never unaggro. He seems to be fully dedicated to murdering whoever he's after. So if you can kill him before they, they, he kills that person, not only do you save somebody, and but you also get the reputation bonus and they... Okay. Uh, just retracing my steps here. Cool. Too bad you couldn't give me any medicine to not die. Shit. There it goes. There it goes. Does he have a bed I can just sleep in right here? That could work. I should search his house for a bed. They've already taken my medications for sleeping. <laughs> it's so fucked. Uh, what happens if I just take the schmouter now? Does that curb the infection at least? Drugs. Schmouter. Infection's gone. Wow. Well, still die. Wow, I died like a second later. This might have been a bad quick save. Son of a bitch. I think I'm just gonna have to load my permanent save from significantly earlier. Redo a chunk of the day. Hopefully find a drunk to trade with. Or maybe this one health thing will make me there. Maybe I just need to... I don't know. <laughs> I really don't want to do the whole day again. Or a chunk of it or whatever. I'd really like to just live. If we can get away with that. It goes down fast now. It goes down fast now. I don't think I'm going to make it at my... This can't be good for me. I've used up so many of these medicines now. Maybe I'll heal like crazy, though. The day is over. Your timely efforts allowed your supporters to remain unharmed. Cool. A new mime performance is being rehearsed at the theater. Cool. Nice to know. Gotta get to bed before I die, please. That's the bed? That's the bed. Okay, uh, Schmouter. We'll see what happens here. Uh, six hours, I think, that's the way to go, right? Yeah. My hunger should be fine. Oh, my health is way the hell up. Exhaustion's down. Immunity's at half in fact. Oh. Oh. Oh, look at those meters. Oh, look how good my meters are. Okay, so yeah, you, you take... The takeaway here, I believe, is that we need, I need to take more medication when I go to sleep. I normally take, like, one or something. I should probably take, like, two or three, because my health... My health went way up, my exhaustion went way down. This is no, like, half Cs or partial progress. This is all in. We're good. My infection seems to have actually been cured by the sh the, the schmouter entirely. Hunger's up. I have money, though. I can spend that to deal with that. So immunity is at half, and hunger is a bit up, but it's, but overall we're doing good. Reputation needs some mending again, because I got attacked by pe- That's bullshit, though. That's fucking- nah, it might not be bullshit. Oh, a new day. I might want to talk to you, because new day. I have a little bit of time. I do need to get to the play. My bedroom is warmer than this place. All hope is gone. I've set up a whole laboratory upstairs. I hope that's fine with you. I understand that it can be rather annoying. It's nothing. Nothing at all. In any case, I won't be staying here much longer. What's that supposed to mean? Do you know why our cathedral me remains empty? No, why? It isn't a cathedral, actually. It's supposed to become a cathedral, yet for some reason it didn't. Sometimes I feel sad for it. Sad? Seriously? 
I could have been living next to a place where sacrament is performed daily. Stop being depressed. What a command to have. Anyway, I have to go. Just command people not to be depressed. I'm gonna talk to all the people... Oh, I'm gonna talk to all the canes if I can. Because maybe they'll give me a quest or something. It just seems like the logical thing to do because they're right here. But I do need to hurry because I need to be... I believe I need to be at the play by 7. Or it doesn't happen. I think that my... The, nat the extent of the emergency I was in could have been rectified if I had just been using the sleeping medication correctly. Because then when I, uh, then when the time came I wouldn't have been so crucially doomed. Because I was, I, uh, my infection was up but also my exhaustion was up and I think if my exhaustion wasn't quite so high I would have better, been better off. I slept in the middle of the day that day and my exhaustion still capped out again. So like, having it not go all the way down to zero when you sleep is brutal. And so I need to remember to use drugs or I'll not make it. Yes? A new phenomenon manifested itself today. It might be of interest to you, as it admittedly is to me. We may have stumbled upon a mystery whose solution may have far-reaching consequences. This, con this concerns the Skinner's District. Tell me, this is of special interest to me because of the ongoing search for buildings that could serve as sanitary wards. Indeed, you've read my thoughts. The Skinner's have died out. Supposedly it has become entirely free of infection. The streets, the walls, the various objects, and even the corpses. Everything is clean. People can safely touch bodies that only recently were a very strong source of infection. That's be Yeah, that does seem to fit with the discovery I made yesterday. If these rumors are true, we'll start making the abandoned homes ready for the new tenements. The new tenants. I can foresee us soon needing to find room for refugees from other infected districts. We'll give them in, uh, provisional lodging at the vacant houses. I'm sure you understand that in order to make such a risky decision, I must be absolutely certain. Refugees from infected areas. I thought the whole thing is that any infected area is quarantined and no one can come in or out. So what are, who, who, what are these refugees? What can I do to help? Take a look around the Skinners. Check inside the houses. If they truly are clean, find something that can prove it. And of course, you may use any abandoned property, uh, abandoned property as you see fit. Better you get that, get it than the looters. This is promising. I'll be back with a report. It's like something is. Go go go! My reputation really struggles in this game. Go go go! I got two things I'm having trouble reconciling a little bit. One is that they, they claim that they're going to deal with refugees from infected districts, but they also quarantine the districts until everyone just dies inside and everyone's doomed, and they don't let anyone in and out, and they're just like, eh, too bad. In addition to that, uh, they said that the body... They said the disease needs to be in a, in a body? Like, it has to be in your blood in order to survive, and yet... We have, like, an airborne disease, seemingly? It sure seemed like we had an airborne disease. Jesus, how... That's a lot of letters. Uh... Visit me at the Crucible. Yeah, I've read the Reuben one. These are the two things that I were sent for my approval. I don't think I've read this one yet. Yeah. The evening letter from the powers that be, day three. Insofar as the victory over the enemy is comparable to learning its nature, we see you as our champion as well as our scholar. We think it would be appropriate to inform you of the conditions of your victory. We hope you appreciate the fact that the disease is nothing more than an unfortunate coincidence. You should treat this as the basis of your research. For, if the outbreak is entirely accidental, as the lack of any outside influence of the town suggests, then it should be comparatively easy to handle. Avoiding multiplying casualties. Uh, avoid multiplying casualties. Seek an answer in unorthodox methodologies. The cause of the outbreak is not a fundamentally familiar nature. So, you may need an adventure of sorts to remove it. 
Nothing in day four yet. Okay. What's going on with Simon? No dialogue for you. Hunger meter's getting up there, and I don't have any food, right? Not unless I want to eat nuts, but the nuts are trading items, so I want to save them for that purpose. The current blind side for me is the fact that I, I'm doing. I think I'm doing a decent job of trading constantly. Uh, only a half an hour to get to the theater. Theater's right there, though. It's not so bad. Uh, my current blind side of sorts, I think, is the fact that I can't trade any of my trading items for food. So I can trade a lot, but I have to get food via money. Yes. Plague. And to think that all those years we were expand expecting an earthquake. All these years I've been dreading war more than anything. Nope, nothing for you guys. Okay. I did, I did get a quest, though. I believe Victor gave me a quest. But I'm not in the hurry to check right now. Because I'm in a different kind of hurry. Oop. Almost went the wrong way. It's rather convenient to sleep through the night, because then you don't have to deal with any of the nonsense. There's so many people running around trying to murder everyone the moment the sun goes down. I think we have time. But it's close. It's damn close. Is that a murderer? Oh shit, they're still out and about? Uh, timing should work out, but I might die from murdering. Or from being murdered. Shit. No one ever can stand up to the murderers. I think I just fall over and die? Oh, he threw a knife at him. This is not working for me. Holy crap. Yeah, no. Probably gonna run into that house. How low quality is my knife right now? Also, holy crap, these people are so bloodthirsty that they just like... ...mass slaughter people. Like, just murdered this guy in the middle of the town square and took his stuff, but hey, another guy. I'm gonna throw my knife at him. The knife's at durability zero. That's why it sucks. It's amazing how fast weapons degrade in this game. I need to just... He's gonna be crouching for a little while. I just need to very rapidly... Oh, shit. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh, Jesus. Alright, well... Goddamn game. I'll remind you guys. I mean, I don't really have armor. I haven't really, like, invested yet, which I'd need to. Clothing probably helps with combat, but it also is supposed to help with plague. But, you know, an another thing to spend money on, so another resource to panic about. I'll remind you that I have full health, though. God damn. And he just casually kills you, like, that quickly. Come on. I have to get to the door while I was crouching. Yes! I'm free. There we go. So, it stays away from dead bodies, disappearing from corpses without a trace. It's been established that you can outweigh it if you're careful and discreet. The glass will keep the best as it's supposed to. What does it mean? It means we have a fighting chance. The infectious agent only sticks to living matter and is repelled by dead surfaces. Those who remain indoors are more likely to survive. Scurrying and making a fuss means death. All in all, we can fight. You self-serving jerk. You've got your own agenda, haven't you? You're always up for a fight. You just need an adversary. What about the people? Hush, don't you get in his way. He seems to have a plan. It's all wrong. It's no good at all.
It still seems so odd that those are like the only cutscenes the game has, practically. Our delusionment is often a delight to both our friends and enemies. Okay, bye. <laughs> I don't think you even need to have those scenes. To some extent, they kind of just say what you already know, to an extent, but... I don't want to miss out on like the game's only cutscenes. <laughs> That's like the primary incentive to come here. I don't think I don't think sh I don't think seeing them affects the story. And e and even how much they give you insight that you are, don't already know is a little variable. All right, so now we're free. That was the primary time limit, and I barely made it. <laughs> 